Air France Flight 447 crashed into the Atlantic Ocean in 2009. It took nearly two years to find the flight recorders. Malaysia Flight 370 disappeared over the Indian Ocean. After 10 months, nothing has been found. And the search for AirAsia Flight 8501 continues two weeks after it crashed. These events are extremely rare. Even so, aviation administrators like Michael Huerta are proposing changes. As the searches for the Malaysia and AirAsia flights continue, an international aviation organization will call for global tracking standards. The International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, is looking at several options. One includes technology that cannot be disabled by anyone on board, something experts think happened on Malaysia Flight 370. Another proposal is for the aircraft to report its location via satellite every 15 minutes rather than every hour. This would cover transmission gaps over oceans and remote areas. Inmarsat is offering this as a free service should ICAO adopt it. In another measure, the United States is already phasing out the so-called black boxes that have a 30-day battery life for the Pinger locator. Newly manufactured devices will now have a 90-day transmitter to be completely phased in by 2020. FAA Administrator Huerta says any changes must have consistent standards. It's a global industry, and what works in the United States needs to work in other parts of the world. New tracking standards or extended batteries would not have saved lives in any of these crashes, but they offer earlier closure for families and investigators. Some say the focus instead should be on prevention, like Richard Abalafia, who is an aviation analyst with the Teal Group. We need better information sharing across borders. We need better human intelligence on who's on the passenger manifest and better sharing about that. We need better intelligence on crew personnel. Abu Lafia says if tracking technology is considered, it should be contingency based. In the event something bad happens, then you start transmitting everything about all the parameters. But that's not on the table yet. ICAO is expected to propose the 15-minute reporting standard at its February meeting. If the standard is approved, it could go into effect rather quickly because it involves no extra equipment on the airplane and no additional cost to the airlines. Carolyn Persuti, VOA News, Washington.